Tommy, this is probably the freshest one we've done straight after the final whistle, but you know, that was a massive victory, isn't it? Huge, huge victory. I mean, only because it's the game that we can win today. And, you know, we, I think we've done really well lately. Um, the way we've structured the group with the with the injuries that we're carrying. And I haven't, I haven't whinged about them, but to be fair to Liam and, and, the, and the sports science guys, they've had a hell of a load to, to get a group through, to get, to get through the the period that we've been in and, and to be fair to the lads they've just knuckled down and I think we've eked the last little bit out of them during that period and they're going to get a bit of a rest they'll still train but they'll get they'll get looked after them lads who've played the vast majority of the games but to have taken what we have from the games that we have at this stage I think we've got to look at it as a really bright start and clean sheets is something that you know we haven't had too often it's something that's been talked about a lot but to come here and against the team that's been unbeaten so far this season and, and get that clean sheet is, is, is big as well isn't it yeah, usually, I mean, at least that back us to that back us to score in most games, and I thought we should have scored more than we did today without having really good guilt edge chances. But at the end of the day, football is, is it's a massive game of fine margins. You know, they they didn't need to play that much football in the first half because of the lad they had at the front. They got a forward, played around him. Second half, they've tried. To be fair, after we scored, I thought they did have a right good go, and he's got them go flying here. And I could tell by shaking the lads, their lads' hands after the game, how disappointed they were due to the record that they've had. But listen, they deserve a massive part of the back to get to the 15th game before losing, um, before losing one. So listen, we're not getting carried away. We're not screaming and shouting and playing music and dancing around in there. We really enjoy this today, and we'll have a rest tomorrow when we'll be back on the training ground on Monday. Well, that's it as well. You mentioned it earlier there. There's this. A few, fair few players out injured. They're all, you know, on their last legs. Some of them as well, being so tired after that run. So again, it's it's just another reason why it's such a great win today. Yeah, like I said, we, we've had to really just regenerate them on the Monday, put them back out on the Tuesday, regenerate them on a Thursday or Friday, put them back out on the Saturday. This week we'll have a proper structured week for the, especially for the lads who haven't played as well. But there isn't that many of them who haven't played football now. It was great to get Kobe on, and like I just said to him there, he's being patient. But the lads at the back are really doing well at the vast majority of the stuff I want to do but he's gone on there to help close the game out and I, and I couldn't be more more pleased. You know, Maxi's gone on there in a, in, a, in, a, in a foreign position to the fans to see him but we know he can play on there as well. He's got energy, he's got, he's got size, um, he's got a sense of brain in his head. So listen, probably can tell by me, I'm, I'm, I'm probably perspiring as much as the lads are and might take us going as much as Aaron Jones' dad is. You know why I've said that.